You're trying to make sure you're aware of I'm things. a human, I'm not aware. I could be a aware human. Aware human? When it's a full moon, I turn into a human. A human. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to RB, 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 because I can't remember exactly what the title is. Fruit beer. You starting without me, Mike? I'm going to the bathroom. This is my show, and he is just my co-host. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm taking away your show. Anyways, this is the ridiculous bonanza of root beer. You smell, you smell nice. When you're all up in my grill, I gotta get a sniff, B. Anyways, this is the ridiculous bonanza of root beer review blog. I'm Dave, and this is Mike. It's kind of harder with you over there, because right. like, because now it's like it just looks like you're you're studying or something. So it's like. Get, get out, out of the shot! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's get to let's get to let's get to the can't. Uh, let's get to spick and root. What are you doing, Taylor Swifting? <laughs> Taylor Swift? No, no, it's Faith Hilling. It's Faith Hilling. It's Faith Hilling. Sorry, and then Taylor Swift. Taylor Swifting. Yeah. Taylor Swifting. <laughs> ah, it's still heavy. The anonymous donor root box. Okay. All right. We got drive-in style. We got ourselves BAM! Drive-in style dog and suds root beer. No, they just have dogs swimming around in the root beer. <laughs> For ingredients, we have carbonated water. Big shock. Pure cane sugar. Big shock. Well, I guess no. Caramel color. Big shock. Game changer. <laughs> uh, phosphoric acid. Sodium benzoate. That's bad. <laughs> Natural and artificial flavors. Pretty basic root beer, in all honesty. Wizard. Wizard. Wizard the mugs here, Mike. Wizard the mugs here? Yeah. <laughs> Glasses. Glasses. Glasses! Oh my god, I can't oh, I see anything! You ready to bust this one Yeah, open? bust it. <sighs> I guess this is like a restaurant, this Doug and Suds place. Doug and Suds is a Doug, restaurant? Doug and Suds, yes. Oh, the head's, head's, head's pretty, pretty good. good. Head's pretty good. It's like it's like that big. Yeah, it's staying. Good. As I pour it's it on. And, and also as you mark it from behind the glass. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm pointing right now. I didn't know here. I don't know if you're No, it was behind the glass. I was right here. Uh, you, you're, you're, uh, the we'll see, you're the we'll judge. You're the judge. Let's do yeah, this. Like, Cheers. Cheers. Smells like refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's got some flavor to it. Yeah, it's got a nice frothiness. Good root beer flavor. It's got a nice uh Nice smoothness to it. It's got a good body. It's got a good body. It's really it's body. thick. Yeah. It's thick. thick. It's thick. That's it's what quite, it's got some thickness to it. Really, it really rolls on your tongue. Yeah, yeah it's the sumo of root beers. This one is pretty good. Although, um, I am noticing a lot of like the sugar and yeah. the syrup as opposed to the natural flavors of like mm. tasting wintergreen and all that other stuff. Birch, anus. I have no idea what anus tastes like. I just really like saying anus. Another thing is this is pure cane sugar, not that regular old cane sugar. Or that pure cane sugar. Or that white Maui Waui sugar yeah. that we had. Maui Waui. Maui Waui. I don't know. You know what Maui Waui is? Yes. I'm liking this. Good, good, good carbonation going on there. Nice tingly flavors. Mm -hmm. Got maybe maybe even some vanilla in there. They're not talking about. It makes me feel like it's the right root beer flavor. Obviously. Yeah, I would have to say this tastes more like an A and W style yeah, root beer. Definitely tastes kind of like A and W. Yeah, which maybe the cane sugar is what makes it different. Maybe because like I know like you know does A and W have high fructose? Yeah, yeah. A and W has his is, is corn syrupy guy because it doesn't leave that like film in your mouth, right? It's just sort of like goes no, it's kind of cleanish. It's nice and clean. Yeah, refreshing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Root beer is not a hot summer day drink, in my opinion. No, absolutely. Like not. if you're baking in the sun and you're lying there, going, "Oh my god, I could go for a nice root beer," and it just gets sticky. You know. Wait, hold on. Stuff. <laughs> That's a good one. It's good. It's good. Not a lot of flavor coming back, but it's uh. Oh, oh fail. I feel it's in there, but it's just like not hanging out for a while. It'll come up when you're least expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find too much wrong with it. It's just solid. It's so what, solid would you, what would you rate the root beer? Hmm. I'm gonna give it four. That's four empty mugs. We, we gotta stop rating the same thing at some point. Really? <laughs> that's we gotta, what I'm gonna say. That's what you're gonna that. say? I don't know. I don't know what's missing in it, but I feel like it just to be put to a five mu empty mug rating, it needs something okay. else. Yeah, to get to I a can five. Totally get that. Five. You ever notice how bottles they're kind of shaped exactly so you can like you know bash somebody in the head with them? That's I think they're designed that way. How they like 
Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about right there. Did Don't get that? root beer on getting, my couch. I'm not getting root beer on your couch. She was on my knee, all right? This is what I'm talking about, though, right here. See, you <laughs> turn it upside down. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking right. about. He's now pissing he me off. Now I want to hit him with the bottle. <laughs> it was designed for anger. So that's, that's the end of this episode. Um, do you have anything else to add? Check us out for more videos. Yeah.